Soul Stay Neek. My name is Beth, and today is April the 1st, although I think I'm going to post this on Sunday, April the 2nd, um, and I am here to talk to you about my plans for April, um, which are not, not a lot. Um, as you can tell, I am still at my parents' house. This is my mother's uh, sewing room. About a week ago, a little over a week ago, I hit a deer and um, I've been dealing with insurance and all that. I do have a rental car. I've been able to go home, um, but I have been spending a lot more time here at their house rather than an hour away at my house because my car got towed to their driveway. So while I was dealing with um, insurance and getting all the information from my car and getting people to come get my car and whatever. Um, I've been over here, uh, so I don't have a bunch of physical uh, books available to show to you, which is fine because the one physical book that I know I'm going to be reading in the next like week is The Hidden Adult by Perry Nodelman. This is a book on defining children's literature, and that is what most of my month of April is going to look like. I am a month and a half from the end of my master's journey. Uh, so I am working on my master's portfolio. Um, this, this right here and this right here are two of the most important things um, right now. Along with finishing up my master's degree, I am currently waiting on pins and needles to see if I'm accepted into the PhD program uh, to continue my uh, advocacy for middle grade literature in academic environments because there's just no scholarship on middle grade literature, um, little to none. And, you know, if, if nobody else is going to do it, I might as well. Uh, but because of that, I'm going to be spending a lot of the next month or so, like I said, working on my portfolio and uh, finishing reading a bunch of text on like defining children's literature and how middle grade fits into that, except I have to, uh, I have to do that second part. Uh, most of it's going to be uh, lower grade children's literature versus young adult literature and then I have to put in how middle grade works and whatever so I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of reading just for funsies however we are reading the crossover by Kwame Alexander in my seventh grade class so I get to do that which is always one of my favorite rereads of the year uh, one of my favorite units of all time to teach and then I'm trying out a new unit in my British literature course with my seniors. Um, and we are talking about universal themes in children's literature, focusing on classic British uh, authors, children's literature, meaning that we have, last week we studied the biography of A.A. A. Milne <coughs> and read the first Winnie the Pooh story and um, watched the first um, Winnie the Pooh as like an adaptation. And we're talking about, we'll be talking about the themes and wrapping that up the next couple of days. And then we are going to read Peter Pan and uh, look at the play and the book and the movie and like what those themes are and why it is still super popular. Um, so I am in fact getting some more fun reading in, but it's mostly all going to be academic. I think I am uh, also working on a portfolio for National Board Certification. The portfolio is due on May 17th. Have I started it? No, no, I have not. Did I uh, print up all of the information about it and sign up to do this piece of the portfolio um, on the very last possible day that you could sign up for it, which was at the end of February? Yes, yes, I did. Um, did I do that knowing that I'm finishing my master's degree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Did I think this through? No, not at all. But it is what it is. Along with that, my other course that I'm taking this semester is uh, Children and Adolescent Literature in um, Translation and Adaptation, which is just super fun. Um, and our final uh, major project for that class 
is like a you get to choose if you want to do a scholarly tract, a creative tract. Uh, I don't remember. There's there's many many different options that you could do, and I chose to go in the creative tract and write a novel. So I need to have the first like four to five chapters written on that. Um, I do have four or five weeks until that's due, and I have the first. I want to say two chapters finished. So like I'm trekking right along with that. I do want to um, at least get the characters to where they're going into the next world and introduce the um, the other world aspect of the story. So hopefully I can get to that point uh, in the novel before it's time to turn it in. Hopefully I'll get even further than that. I'm very excited about this project. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys. Um, I don't think I mentioned earlier that I am, in fact, still listening to audiobooks on my commute. Um, I just have not had much of a commute here lately that wasn't filled with phone calls to insurance and all of that jazz. Um, I started the first in a mystery series that is called White Trash Warlock. So it's like a paranormal kind of mysterious. I, I'm not sure how to describe it. Um, it is by... David, somebody, I don't know. You can find it on Audible. That's where I picked it up from. And I'm enjoying it so far. The main character is from Guthrie, Oklahoma. It's very obvious that the gentleman who wrote the books knows the area well. So that's a lot of fun. Um, I'll be continuing uh, listening to that whenever I get a chance. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. I would love it if you would let me know what you think of the intro I put on this. I created it a couple of years ago and then forgot it existed until today. Uh, so I'd love to know about the intro and what you guys are doing in the month of April. I will talk to you again soon. Until next time, stay safe out there, guys.